Hi Capricorn, welcome to your monthly reading for June 2020. Um, I decided that this time around instead of doing weeklies, I'm just going to go ahead and do a whole month. But I'll be back to weeklies next week. So I'm feeling like we're going to use this deck. So I'm going to do my tarot spread and then I also have some oracle decks here that I'll pull for you. We'll see where the reading goes. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to check out your other placements. Those are up on the channel as well. And I did the general reading, so further clarification might resonate with you more. Just putting the bug in your ear. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And all of my information is in the description box below. You can follow me on social media. I've got some fun things going on this month. There's a virtual psychic fair at the end of the month that I'm participating in. Um, we've never done it virtually before. It's always been in person. So um, follow me on social media to get all of the details on the fabulous readers that will be joining me. We all have um, different things that we do. Like distant Reiki. Um, there's a scribe there. He gets angel and guide messages um, and he channels through writing. It's pretty cool. So you'll get all the information on um, the psychic fair, the details, and how to book with us for that date. We're going to do some fun video promos as well. So you'll get to participate in, in that. Mainly Facebook, but I'll be posting the information to my other social media as well. My website and my email if you'd like to book a personal reading. One more and we'll get started. There's some other tarot decks here too that we will tap into for clarification. This is the Arcanum Tarot. Huh. Okay, overall energy for the week, the tower. I actually like this card. It's one of my favorite cards. So don't be afraid. Four of Cups in reverse, Death right in the middle, Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Oh, the star. We'll put that with the tower since it was underneath too. All right. We'll clarify with Tarot de la Nuit, Tarot of the Night. So the tower and the star being there, see I told you don't panic, <laughs> when you see the tower it's okay. It's not always a bad thing, it's just change. And change should be embraced. Um, though we can have the perception of um, not necessarily liking change, especially when things are perceived to be going well, um, it's okay. Change is just, not everything changes. It's just that which isn't built on a solid foundation. So when the tower comes out, it's just saying anything that isn't solid is gonna be shaken up. That which needs to go is gonna go. Especially here with the star. The star is one of the happiest cards in the deck. So it's a wish come true card. So if you've been looking for a change, you might feel really great <laughs> about that. <laughs> um, and if you're not necessary, if you're happy with the way things are, remember, not everything is going to change. If it's stable, like if your job is stable and you're really happy in your job, great. It'll probably remain the same. The change just might be, maybe with the star here, it could be a promotion or a raise. It could be um, moving to a different department within your current job. So take it how it resonates. As always, take what resonates and leave the rest. The Four of Cups, when it's upright, it looks like this. Um, kind of bored, complacent, stagnant energy. But in reverse, it's the opposite energy, so things are moving again. Death right in the middle. Again, don't freak out. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily, 99% of the time, it does not mean a physical death. Just like the tower, it just means change. Something's changing. 
Something that is no longer serving you is coming to an end. And then the Nine of Swords. So you could be freaking out. I told you, don't freak out. It's okay. <laughs> could freak out about this. Um, this is the Nightmare card, insomnia, losing sleep. Um, so don't do that. It's okay. Everything's going to be all right. We're just reading energy here. And then the Queen of Cups. So if this is a relationship um, that is something's changing or coming to an end here and it's been freaking you out, it's going to be okay because um, somebody else could be coming in who's this Queen of Cups or re your relationship could be transforming because that's what death is, transformation, to being emotionally fulfilling. So um, anybody who's looking for zodiac signs, the star is typically Aquarius. Death is Scorpio, and um, I read court cards in, in the major, minor arcana um, as their elements, so this could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, a water sign. So what I said was gonna clarify with right tarot tonight. So whatever the situation is that's changing, it really is for the highest good because that complacency is moving, the stagnant energy is now moving, it's transforming right smack dab in the middle. And then um, that which has been weighing heavily on your mind is going to come to a peaceful resolution. Nope, one more they said. We won't count that. <laughs> A little slow. Okay. Four cups. I have a slightly different setup than I did for the general. Get more of a bird's eye view, so you'll notice a little bit of a difference. Okay, four of cups. King of wands, six of wands in reverse, two of pentacles in reverse. So, um, king of wands, you could be dealing with Cancer Pisces, so, or no, sorry, just kidding. This is a fire sign, <laughs> Sag, Leo, Aries. Or the energy is just, remember, gender is always neutral. Um, so it could just be um, the kings and queens are masters of their suit. So it could just be somebody who's very passionate, energetic, um, goes after what they want. So if that's you in this particular scenario, um, you could be getting that promotion or raise and um, going after what you want. So the six of wands, when it's upright, looks like this. So upside down. It doesn't necessarily mean you're not going to be victorious, um, especially with the king here. I think it's just not what you were expecting. So two of pentacles, upright, looks like this. This deck doesn't typically follow traditional tarot, so I like to interpret it for those who uh, might be new to tarot or just less familiar. Two of Pentacles in reverse, so um, you've made your choice. Yeah, you've made your choice. Whether, whatever situation this is for you, you've made your choice. Nine of Swords, let's go there. Okay. So four came out. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords in reverse, and the Knight of Swords. Whew. All right, so here we go. The Knight of Pentacles, typically slower moving energy. Um, somebody who's been to battle. She kind of looks like she has a battle scar there, um, but takes those lessons with her. Okay. And then the Knight of Swords, right? Yes, <laughs> the Knight of Swords. That's faster moving energy. So these two nights together here, things might have been slow, but now they're picking up. Right side 
up for the Six of Swords. That's typically moving away in a different direction, so in reverse. Um, so back to, it could be a promotion or a different department within your current workplace, or it could be your current relationship is um, moving more towards this Queen of Cups energy. And then the Ace of Pentacles, lovely. That's a new beginning uh, with it being Pentacles. You guys being an earth sign know that um, that's money, physical world stuff. So you are, you're okay. This, um, with this knight, knight, well, yeah, there is a knight of swords here. Nine. Oh, there's my cat. Say hi. <laughs> I'm not even going to edit that out um, because when the cats appear, there's, um, they usually cleanse the energy and they're, <laughs> he's got such a long tail. They're, uh, they're good. So they kind of bring a blessing. Yes, I know that's a very witchy thing to say. My familiar here is uh, attacking plastic. So let me just, it's like having a toddler sometimes having a kid. <laughs> so anyway, um, with this nine of swords here, it, it could at first maybe feel like, oh no, what's happening? This change is scaring me, but it's all working out for the best. It's gonna move slow and then pick right up. And you're gonna to decide to stay and take this new opportunity. There he goes, just throwing stuff. That's what cats do, right? <laughs> Queen of Cups. The tower. Again, so you got tower at the top and the bottom, the Hierophant and death in reverse this time. So something major is going on, guys. You got the tower twice and you've got the death card twice. It doesn't matter how they initially show up and then how they show up again. You've got it one, two, three, right in a row. Major change, major, major, major. But it's all good, it's all good. So if this is a relationship for you, just remember the tower, so it's a little bit of a different depiction. So here's the initial tower, and then here's this one. They are different decks, so just see the, and feel the different energy coming off of them. Here is the Hierophant tradition. Um, so if this is, um, a long-term relationship and you're thinking about getting married or maybe you are married to this person. Death in reverse. She's really beautiful. I love this particular death card. I just, I love Day of the Dead and Sugar Skulls and how that particular culture honors it and remembers their dead. So, oh, God bless you. In reverse. Um, so, once we get here, or if you're already here with somebody, with this Queen of Cups, um, it's it's going to stick around because you've got the Hierophant and the Death in reverse. So just remember with the Tower, anything, it's not the whole thing caving in. It's just anything that isn't um, sturdy, that isn't stable, is going to get knocked down. So that just means that, think... I always say the tower, think of it like an earthquake. So when um, the earthquake happens and the rubble is there, there's still a foundation, there's still bricks left. And those bricks that survived intact are the ones that you're gonna use to rebuild because now they're tempered. They've been through, and the metaphor is for you as well. So you've been through it and now you're stronger than you were before because of what you've been through. Those are the bricks that you take into this new opportunity. And it's gonna make you happy. It's emotionally fulfilling. Even if it's the, the career side, it's gonna make you happy. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so I'm going to pull the animal spirit deck. It's calling to me. This is by Colette Baron-Reed. I love her decks. They're just absolutely beautiful. 
They have great energy to them. Life is a mystery. <laughs> What's that Madonna song where she says, Life is a mystery? Live, um, not living on a prayer, that's Bon Jovi. It is, living. is it living on a prayer for her no. too? Something like a, prayer. like a prayer. Thank you. See, I have, I'm married to a human jukebox, so I just need to <laughs> ask sometimes. So, uh, thank you. The Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery. It is. Um, especially with the tower and the death showing up twice from two different decks. That's why some, uh, well, I kind of got into it. I didn't used to, and I don't always, but a lot of times I do like to clarify with another deck to see if that energy still comes out. Nine times out of 10, it does. <laughs> Snake spirit, take time to heal. Bobcat was number eight. For those of you interested in numerology and snake is 55 so that is change it's doubled fives are change it's doubled um, but eight is a divine number it's the infinity sign as well so um, snakes shed their skin when they've outgrown it and i think that that's pertinent for the death and tower here when you've outgrown a situation whatever it is if it's a job, if it's a relationship, if it's something else, when you've, when you're done with it and you've outgrown it, you become uncomfortable and itchy. So snakes will rub up against trees or rocks to get that, that skin off because they're growing and it's not serving them anymore. So they leave it behind. So I'm sorry if you don't like snakes, <laughs> but the, the spirit of the snake isn't nearly as, as creepy as it looks. And you could also look up bobcat and snake spirit as totem animals to see maybe how that resonates for you in your life. Here comes Phineas again. <laughs> so, um, hopefully that resonated for you. Are you done? <laughs> Um, I think it's very special because he didn't come up in any of the other readings that I've done so far. So, uh, and I've done four of them. So just uh, take what resonates for that one. But I take it as a really good sign. You're telling me one more. So I'm going to pull one. Oh, Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. Oh, and I love that you've got the music notes and um, the Nightingale's wearing a crown. It's number 41 which is five, so there's that. Um, we got a theme, guys. So um, that and the gramophones hanging out there. So I hope that this resonated for you and um, feel free to check out your other placements as well and this month of June is going to be something else for you guys, but um, it's, it's all good. Whatever it is, it's all good. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media um, if you are so inclined. Have a wonderful month.